So yes, you can install Android 13, the Pixel Experience, on your Surface Zero 1. Now, I'm going to list the video down below, okay? This is a detailed tutorial by Shane Craig. He actually goes really great detail on how to do it. Um, but in this video, I'm going to talk about the steps, the process, and all the kind of stuff about it. But he lists an amazing video on how to do it completely. So check out his video if you want to do it yourself. If you just want to talk about it today, this is what this video is for. So yes, we have the ability to now put Android 13 on the Surface Duo 1. Now here's the things about it, right? It's a kind of a similar process to how the um, putting Windows 11 on the Surface Duo 1 went. First off, you had to go ahead and unlock the bootloader, which you have to use command prompt to do that. Once you do that, then you're pretty much installing the file onto the machine, and that's the most layman's term as possible, and then you're able to use it. So as you can see right here, it says download DSU uh, side loader from GitHub, download the Pixel Experience from the Surface Duo uh, from right here, um, then you follow the instructions in the DSU slider to install the build. Recommend changing the user data partition to 16 gigabytes at least, but can be larger if you want to uh, use it more substantially. Um, installation guide, fast boot. So this is the same thing we did when it came to the uh, Windows 11, you know, when it came to installing on the Surface Duo 1. Same concept, using fast boot to unlock the bootloader. Reboot into fast boot D. Uh, delete system X and product partition. Alternately, delete the inactive system A slash B slot. Flash the system IMG onto the system partition. Reboot. Profit. And this is what we get. And again, like I said before, if that all made no sense, Shane Craig made a great video about it. Um, But my current Surface Zero 1, I cannot do this one because it broke. Yeah. It broke. It did not break from the update. Just a key thing there. It, um, I've dropped it. Thing shattered. Um, so, yeah. It's unfortunate, but I have not picked up a Surface Duo 1 again yet. Um, but, yeah, so this is exactly, as you guys can see, what we saw in the pictures before. It works okay. Based on what I understand, it works okay. Not perfect. And it's going to be less glitchy than if when you first, when well, way back in the day, when we were first installing Windows 11 on the Surface Zero 1. It's going to look a lot better than that, right? But it's still, it gets the job done. And you get the Google Pixel experience on the Surface Zero 1. Because it's already been confirmed, Microsoft is not giving us an Android 13 update. Android 12L will be the last thing we get on the Surface Zero 1 and 2. Which, it sucks, it is what it is, we moved on, but this is going to be your only option if you want to continue the life cycle of the Surface Duo 1. It's going to be this Android 13, you know, experience. But, I just want a disclaimer here, whenever you unlock the bootloader and you're installing unsigned software, unsigned firmware, there's chances you could brick your device. Chances you could break your device, okay? I know brick and brick is the same thing, but not everyone, everyone knows the term brick. So, just keep that in mind. There are ways that if you do this and something goes wrong, it will break your device. Just keep that in mind, okay? Just I, That's all I want to say is, you know, do not do this if you have no idea what you're doing. Meaning, if you've never done something like this before... Shane Craig makes an amazing video on it, but at the same time, though, you know, you never know what's going to happen, right? Something could go wrong, something, you misinterpret something that maybe he said in the video and you thought it was this and that. You click on the wrong things, kabooey. Now, the good thing about the Surface Zero 1 is it's still like $250. Now, that's not cheap by any stretch of imagination, but as long as you're doing a Surface Zero 1 and, you know, not another phone then you at least have the ability that it's not going to cost an arm and a leg to get another one. Um, Surface Zero 2 right now is sitting in a price tag like $1,000 still. And even more depending because it's so hard to get. Tell me down below, though, your thoughts and opinions, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.